Like there's a, you cannot get so caught up in the final scoreboard. And, you know, it's okay to be happy. My face may not look like I'm smiling ear to ear. But I am <laughs> happy. I'm happy to be seven. No, don't think I'm not. But I don't feel good. I don't see how you could have, if you watched the game from beginning to end today, how can you feel great about it? Seriously, like, 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 like if you, if you, if you really watch the game, not just highlights, right? Like, oh, we scored another touchdown. Oh, a, oh, you know, Aiden got another sack. We got a fumble. You know, you're just looking at the highs, right? But are you really watching the game? Are you, are you watching, you know, us, us missing passes down the field? You know, are, are you, are you watching the, 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 the miscues? You know, the things, it's easy to get caught up in the things that are fun, right? The highlights. What about the, the mistakes and the, the, the missed opportunities that can hurt us, can cause us to lose games. You know, like you that that's part of the whole viewing experience. So when I'm when I'm we're doing this show, you know, we're going based on both of that. You know, and and, and I'm and, and and no Corey, I saw your comment. I'm not panicking, but I am uneasy. You know, I am uneasy seven games in the season that I still have these concerns. Right. Yeah. Well, you know. and, and Corey made a, a comment about, you know, throwing the ball. Uh, it happened against Nebraska was one of the um, examples that he used. But I mean, even then, like I, I think the play calling was good against Nebraska. But nonetheless, you had 38 pass attempts and you still only had 255 yards. And and Kate didn't throw a touchdown. He threw a pick like so it, it's not as if the they were super efficient even in that game. So it's it. At the end of the day, and I, I just highlighted the, uh, the the comments, like, yes, they are 7-0, and right? They're undefeated, looking, trending towards a huge match. And what I will say, too, is if college game day is not in East Lansing. Oh, they will be. They will be. Oh, man. That would be crazy. Um, oh, huge. It should be a 3 also, kick also too, or whatever. Oh, I was just going to say that. I was like, I the noon kick? Whatever. How do you feel about the noon kick? The big group? noon. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, man. Like, and granted, look, um, uh, you know, I, I think Wisconsin Penn State, their first game of the year, it was the big noon game as well, you know, and they were both were ranked in the top 10, I think. Um, no, that, that was week one. Uh, but it, I, look, the Michigan Ohio State games at 12, so I mean, I'm kind of used to our big games being at noon, however, but that's different, that's different. I know it is. How that, that, that game never changes. That kick time never ever know, changes. At least we've seen Michigan and Michigan State at seven, right? It, right. It's just I don't know. I mean, I got on, on, on one aspect of it, you know, it, it's if you're on the winning side of that game, the rest of your Saturday you get to enjoy. <laughs> you know, you get to really have a good rest of your Saturday, right? If you're on the loser side of that game, your rest of your Saturday is pretty. It's, it's a Ooh. long, long yeah. night, <laughs> long evening, yeah. and. Um, it's not going to be too fun, but uh, yeah, it is what it is. And I, and I don't know who has the say on that, but for me in my just analysis, I guess, or my, my two cents, whatever you want to call it, I, I just think that that would have been a great time to, if possible, have a 7 p.m. kick. If, even if you just say we don't do 7 p.m. kicks, okay, great. At least a 3.30, yeah. like just to be able to showcase like two of, you know, the, the – just the big programs in the Big Ten, maybe not mm -hmm. the two marquee, you know, because I would probably say that's Michigan and Ohio State. But nonetheless, with Michigan and Michigan State, like big rivalry game, both are undefeated, top, you know, six teams, top seven teams. Like, I, I just thought that would have been a great job and a, a great opportunity for the Big Ten to just showcase two of their teams. Um, and now I, I, I do think Ohio State's got a 7 p.m. game against – uh, I'm State? not sure who it is. is it maybe, yeah, I think it might be Penn State. So, so maybe this, you know, so they've got the 7 p.m. kick, but I don't know. I, I just thought that could have been a, a great be opportunity. Too. I mean, look, it, unfortunately, I, I think Ohio between Michigan and Ohio State have the biggest pool, you know, in, in, in the conference. And, you know, I, I think in that situation, maybe they picked Ohio State because Ohio State's number one or whatever it is, you know. Whatever you know, but this this game is monumental. You know, I um, I, I whoever wins this game, I mean, it, it, it's legitimate. It's legitimate to say whoever wins wins this game has a really, 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 really strong chance to get this thing done and win a conference. 
you know, like because they're for both these teams. You know, we want to a lot of Michigan fans, myself included, you know, once D'Antonio, I thought D'Antonio in the history of MSU football was the anomaly, right? I thought once D'Antonio left, you know, they would go back to being, you know, um, second fiddle to us, right? Guess what? Mm-hmm. That's not happening. And Mel Tucker did a really <laughs> good job. And Michigan's not going anywhere. So stop looking over them. They haven't played anybody. Guess what? We haven't either. We haven't either, right? Well, they 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 struggle with this. Guess what? We got our own issues. Don't you hear what me and Des are talking about, right? So it's like, don't think, don't. Uh, you, I have confidence. I believe in my team. I think we're good enough to beat MSU. But don't 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 get it twisted. That team in East Lansing plays hard for Mill Tucker. They got some talent. You know that they're, they're they're Pat. Uh, what's his name? Palacini. Um, Gosh, oh, wrong. that D, the D end. Yeah, uh, what, what is oh, it? I'm not uh, it's, sure. It's with a P. I don't know why I'm struggling with the kid, the kid's name. But you know, he leads the nation in rushes, pass rushes. A pass, excuse me, QB pressures is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, yeah, you, you know, like guys, you know, the, to, you know, Kenneth Walker III is the Heisman Trophy can, potential candidate. You know, like you, you can't, don't, don't, you know, don't go into next week thinking, you know, things are sweet, you know, and and taking that team lightly, you know, so it's it's you got it's a balance, you know, it's a balancing act, right? And um, that's just how that's that's the beauty and the hard part about this this point in the schedule that <laughs> these games are tough and you you it's going to be a dogfight and it's going to be a mixture of preventing as many mistakes as possible and capitalizing on opportunities. Those are the teams that tend to win these games, right? You know, so we'll see. Yeah, 